If you're the type of roulette player who likes to make a lot of little bets around the felt, there's something called the distributive property of roulette betting that will help you save time, prevent awkwardness, and keep you from doing the dreaded reach around at the roulette table. We'll talk about this distributive property and more today on Jack Ace. What up donkeys, Jack Hayes here with jackhayes.com where we talk about my three favorite topics, gambling, crypto, and math. Today we're gonna to talk about something that I call the distributive property of roulette betting. And this is something that I think most veteran roulette players know. And basically it states that whenever you make a multi-number bet, that same bet can be divided equally amongst all the numbers that are being covered and the wins and losses would be identical. So in other words, betting X dollars on an N number bet is identical to betting X over N on each of those numbers straight up. And formulaically, we can represent that as X dollars at an N number payout is equivalent to N times X dollars over N times the single number payout, which is 35 to one. And that is true for all multi-number bets besides the five number bet, which if you've seen my other video, you know that that is a problematic non-conformist POS bet that you should never make in roulette anyway. Now, does this really work? Let's take a look at the double street scenario. We're gonna bet $6 on the one through six double street and compare that to betting $1 each on the numbers one through six straight up. Now it's easy to see when you're outside of that one through six range, either zero, double zero, or seven through 36. In both cases, you're gonna lose all $6. But when you hit, let's say you hit the number one, the double street bet will pay five to one for a total of $30 as your win. In the straight up scenario, one of your six bets will win and five will lose. The one that wins will win 35 to one, but you're gonna have to subtract the five losing dollars and your net is gonna be a gain of $30. And this is true for all multi-number bets in roulette besides that pesky five number bet. If you bet N dollars on an N number bet, that is the same as betting $1 on each of the covered numbers straight up. And you can actually go back and forth between consolidating and distributing your bets. So you can take six $1 bets, consolidate it into a single $6 bet, or you can take a $6 bet, turn it into two $3 street bets, or a $6 double street into a $4 corner and a $2 split. You can even turn a $24 dozen bet into a $12 double street and two $6 street bets. Now, if you've never heard of the distributive property of roulette betting, it's because I just made it up. I tried to find a name for this phenomenon and I searched the internet for it, but I couldn't find any examples of people explicitly talking about this property. And even though I couldn't find a formal name for this phenomenon, I think most veteran roulette players will tell you they understand this concept. And since I couldn't find any other terms that involve this phenomenon, let's talk about some of the other terms and phrases that are associated with it. So the first term we're gonna talk about is distribution or decomposition. And basically that's taking a multi-number bet and decomposing it or distributing that bet amongst the covered numbers. Now on the flip side of distribution would be consolidation or rolling up your bets. That is taking multiple small bets and rolling it up into a larger single multi-number bet. Now the third term and probably the most important term in this lesson is gonna be density or equity per spot. Now when you distribute your bet, you have to make sure you distribute it equally amongst the numbers that are covered. And when you distribute for the payouts to be the same, the density has to be equal on each of the areas. So if you have $100 on a split bet between one and two, you can't put $1 on one and $99 on two because the payouts are gonna be different when you hit two as opposed to one. To ensure that the $100 split bet has the same payouts as the straight up bets, you would have to put $50 on each. So how does this all work? If you've seen my other video, Roulette Math for Donkeys, you'd know that the payout for an N number bet is 36 over N minus one. So using that formula as our starting point, let's look at an N dollar bet for an N number bet. That is equal to N times 36 over N minus one. And then multiplying that N out, you get 36 minus N, which can be rewritten as 36 minus one minus N plus one. And that can be rewritten as 36 over one minus one minus n plus one. And that can be rewritten as 36 over one 
minus one minus n minus one. And that is equivalent to the payout for a one number bet of $1 minus n minus one. So what does this all mean? That means an n dollar bet on an n number bet is equivalent to hitting a $1 bet straight up minus n minus one losers. So here's a quick chart for the one, two, three, four, six, 12, and 18 number bets. So now that you're armed with this knowledge, what can you do with it? The best way to apply this knowledge in the real world is to consolidate your bets so you're not making as many bets at a time and you're not reaching awkwardly over other people. Remember in roulette, the reach around is a bad thing. And you'd be surprised with how many people are not familiar with this concept. Even people who claim to be roulette veterans, you'll see them making a series of bets that can all be consolidated into one or two multi-number bets, saving them time, preventing betting mistakes, and obviously awkwardness of reaching around other people. I've been watching roulette system reviews over the last couple of months, and I see it over and over and over and over and over again. And in addition to saving you time and preventing awkwardness, there's one more benefit of this principle that you should be aware of. In a future video, I'm gonna go over something called bet nullification and why you should never bet on more than 35 numbers at a time. The principles of the distributive property will help you identify situations where you are betting on more than 35 numbers. And once you've identified these situations, you can save yourself money. You could prevent yourself from losing EV as you bet with the same payout. Yeah, that's right, G. So that's it. Hope this was informative for you. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, remember to like and subscribe and comment down below if you are aware of this phenomenon. Always gamble responsibly and peace out, donkeys. Oh.